Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here. And in this particular video, we will be talking about how to set up the pulse effects equalizer on Linux. So you're going to need to install it. And the way I'm going to recommend most people install it, especially if you're using uh, a distribution that doesn't have direct support for this program is Flatpak and Flathub. And the reason you want to go with that is because they do have pulse effects. Uh, now I have it for my distribution, but for the sake of, uh, covering everybody we're gonna go with Flatpak in this video so go to the link in the description learn how to set up Flatpak and once you've done that you can go ahead and go to flathub.org and search for pulse effects now it's right here you can click install to open it with your favorite package manager excuse me you can open it with gnome software which is a package manager or KDE discover or if you're like me, you can go down here and grab the command, paste it into the terminal, add a dash Y for easiness, and uh, just wait for it to install. Now that the Pulse Effect app is installed, we can go to our application menu and look for Pulse Effects. And uh, once you've got it open, you need to turn on an app that plays music and uh, because this is an equalizer. So I'm going to play this song I was listening to earlier. You can't hear it on the video, so it's not going to matter. But so once song, once a song is playing through my Spotify, I can go over here and I click the on button. Now it's instantly using the sound system and I can go to the uh, compressor. If I want to add a compression feature, I can go to multiband if I want to add that. I can go to the bass enhancer if I want to add bass. I can add the amount of bass that sounds good to me. And I can actually already hear it in my headphones. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's an exciter. I don't know what that is, but if you want one, it's there. There's also a crystallizer, same thing. I have no idea what that is. They have stereo tools so you can invert. There's a lot of different features. For the average user, you're gonna probably ignore 90% of these and you're gonna focus on the bass enhancer. Uh, you know, the bass enhancer, maybe the exciter and the equalizer, but this is about an equalizer. This is how to make your music sound better. So we're gonna to have to go to equalizer. Now you need to enable the equalizer. So click the on button and then you click on presets. Now I'm listening to this band here. Uh, gunship i just discovered them the other day i actually really like them and the type of music they sing is like uh neo retro so futury type music so the preset i'm going to want for my pulse effects is going to probably be techno and uh it'll automatically set a preset and you can also just change things to your own liking with the sliders and uh, there are also other different presets like club dance bass, party, reggae, rock, ska. There's a lot of different choices. And if you want to disable the equalizer at any time, you can just click the off button and close the application. And uh, that is how Pulse Effects works. I highly recommend it. It's a really, really cool application. It can let you modify the sound system on Pulse Audio like you've never seen before. Please check it out. Check the link in the description to learn how to get this on your distribution, and I will see you in the next video.